Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's video. And as the title says, today we are reviewing the Skibbity Toilet mod menu. If you want to know how to get this mod menu, just skip till the end of the video and then I'll show you. But if you want to see me review it, just watch the whole thing to see all the reviews. So let's go. Stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to know how you can get this mod menu. But I'm assuming that you won't because it's not a very good mod menu. So let's go ahead and review it. So the first mod, Iron Monkey. Just a normal Iron Monkey trigger to move around. This is a pretty regular Iron Monkey. Speed boost. Now I honestly don't think that this one works. But I heard some other people in other lobbies saying that it does work. Well, I don't think it does. I don't really notice much of a dip. Oh, wait. Idiot. I never mind. Don't don't listen to me. Speed boost does work. Steam long arms. This is the good kind of long, long arms where you, it does not mess up your head. It just... And you can actually do that. Super monkey. Um... Yeah, it's a head fly, so you look around where you want to go and you press and hold A. Platforms. Just regular old invisible platforms. Normal platforms. No clip. How do I speed boost again? No clip. It just you hold A, then no clips you. And next page, up and down, right triggers up, left triggers down. Oh shoot, why would I just go to there? Uh, low quality, it just gives you very low quality. Oh shoot. I'm resetting my game. Many hours later. Okay guys, I'm back, so low quality. You cannot turn it off. You have to reset your game. Rotate platforms. What, what does this do? I don't know what this does. Why am I lagging? I'm not sure what that does. Tell me in the comments what that does because I have no idea. Car monkey? Oh. Oh my gosh, it's very fast. So, your right trigger is to go forward. And then your left trigger is backwards, so forward, backwards. That is way too fast to even control. Um, slide control. We're going to have to go to the mountains for that. Many hours later. Oh guys, I'm in mountains, so now we're going to test outside slide control. Oh, it works really well. It's like a really good sight. Slide control. Gosh. Now this menu is pretty dang glitchy. And this long arms is the long arms that like your head's really messed up. Yeah, see my head's right here. It messes up your head a ton. So invisible platforms. I don't understand why you would need this because the other platforms are invisible. And what the heck are these textures on the trees? They really messed that up. Slip slap? I don't even know how you're supposed to use this one, but figure it out. Ray tracing? I wouldn't really know what to call this. I'll more call this of a game lagger. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but my game is very laggy right now. <laughs> like, whenever I turn it, like, there's so much blur. It just, yeah, ray tracing is very messed up. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to end this video. But before I end, I'm just going to show you guys real fast how you can get this mod menu. And no, you do not need a PC. This is fully standalone on Quest, so let's go. Okay guys, so the first step you are going to open up the MetaQuest mobile app, go to search, and then search for restart 
running. Re search restart running. And it should be this profile pic. And you're just gonna download this. You do not have to switch the app version. This is just, you just download it from here and then boom, you have the mods once you open it. So now I'm gonna end the video. Um, bye.